All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Brakathu Yahweh, Brakathu Yahweh Shai. Brakathu Yahweh, Brakathu Yahweh Shai. Brakathu Yahweh, Brakathu Yahweh Shai. Kal Halal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Raka Kodash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone and to our brothers on the highways and byways teaching this truth and to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting and learning this ministry Shalom if you have a problem what I'm going to say now take it up with the Lord take it up with the Lord Yahweh our, our highest power and his son his beloved son Yahweh Shai Take it up with the Lord. Lord, we are trying our best to follow being righteous. We cannot be righteous, fully righteous in this kingdom. We have to hope and pray that Yahweh sends his son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver his chosen people that's what we are hoping for and we are hoping and praying that we are of the elect the hopeful elect yes we pray in hope we're doing the work we try to do the work we try to serve the most high we try to follow the high holy days we try everything to our best of our ability but we still don't know if we are chosen that's why we're living in hope okay so anything that you see here on videos right for you scoffers for your two-thirds right who is against this word take it up to you heathens to you Edomites to the proud take it up with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Right? That's where we get our inspiration from. From the scriptures. Which has been passed on spiritually to our spiritual fathers, which are our elders of Great Millstone, who push that that knowledge down to us. Okay? So anything that we've learnt via the scriptures, which is the book of life, and that book is only for the Israelites, only. It's not for the Edomites, not for these so-called church members that think they could break down the scriptures. No, it's not for them. Right? It's for the hopeful elect, the elect of Israel. All right? So... If you think LGBT is natural, it's correct, right? You have to answer to that, right? We say it's wrong. And if you're going to have a go at us talking the truth, don't have a go at us. Take it up. With the Most High, Yahweh Basham Yahushai. It is wrong. Homosexuality is wrong. Being a lesbian is wrong. Being transgender is wrong. Being bisexual is wrong. Take it up with Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Don't be a weakling and come to us because we are only speaking the words. Right? From the scriptures, the Holy Bible. That's all it is. So watch this now. And we all know this has been going on from this is nothing new under the sun. Right? There's nothing new under the sun. So don't think that you can change things, right? To suit people's minds. That's all demonic. Because even though you are lesbian or gay or bisexual or transgender, 
deep down in their heart, they are unhappy. Right? We are unhappy. Us Israelites who are serving the Haobah Sham Yao Shai to our best ability, we are unhappy. So who do we rely on? We rely on the, the Most High, Yahweh Sham Yao Shai. We are unhappy too. We are unhappy. But no, you take it upon yourself. Do what you want to do. You see in this video, you do what you want to do to, 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 to fill that empty, that void, that empty space. And what we do to fill that empty space is to pray, serve the Most High of our best ability. Because we're in prison too. We are in prison. We can't do better until we live in hope. We can't do better until Yahweh Basham Yashai returns. And this hope and pray that we are chosen when that chariot comes over, that chariot beams you up. Okay, that's what we're hoping. Right, so you want to take it upon yourself. Right, it's all demonic. It's a demonic spirit in you. But the thing is, you can repent over that. You can repent if you're a lesbian, if you're gay, if you're bisexual or transgender. You can repent. But according to the scriptures, it is wrong. Right. Decriminalization, adoption rights, equal marriage. Britain's LGBT community has undoubtedly come a long way over the past 50 years. Despite this, LGBT people still suffer with high levels of depression, anxiety, addictions and suicide. I know because I'm one of them. Soho used to be a place that I would come to to get out of my head. Today, in recovery, I'm more likely to be here sipping a cup of herbal tea. Why is it that so many LGBT people suffer with mental health problems? In my experience, these problems are never far away. Rob Goddard was a man I worked with briefly at Attitude magazine. In 2013, at the age of just 34, he took his own life. He was massively gregarious. He was the central part of every social situation. He had thousands of friends. With those real highs came the very big lows as well. You know, he, he parted quite heavily. He did recreational drugs. He found a certain utopia within that environment, you know, where he could just be himself and nobody would really care. But I remember you saying to me you didn't think he was very happy being gay. He was fiercely proud of being gay. You know, he was he never hid it mm -hmm. at all. Um, not from anyone, did he? But I think that, that had a negative effect on him as well. You know, I remember a time where he was sat at the back of the bus. It was quite early hours of the morning with his with his uh, boyfriend at the time, just his head on his shoulder. They'd just got back from the club or something like that. They're on the on the bus on the way home, just laid his head against uh, his boyfriend's shoulder, and he was beaten up for it. He even asked the the driver of the bus to to step in. You know, and the driver of the bus was very negative towards him, and kind of. Or it essentially said that if you put yourself into this position by being outwardly gay, then you deserve what you get. Just months before he died, Rob had a psychotic episode after ingesting window cleaner and other substances. He ended up breaking his own leg. And Bob was literally smashing his leg against the wall. There was blood absolutely everywhere. He was in hospital for a while, and I did go and see him. And he was so sorry at what had happened. And he said it was the drugs. He said he, he, he thought it was like fighting an army in, in the bedroom. Powerful drugs like crystal meth and GBL are increasingly popular in the gay male community. Antidote, the UK's only LGBT-specific drugs and alcohol service, has seen a dramatic rise in the number of people seeking help. Some people would say, you know, they're using drugs, you know, it's not the end of the world, but, but for some people it really, really destroys their lives, doesn't it? 
Well, we see people that have lost their jobs, lost relationships, lost their homes. Um, you know, it has a devastating effect on people's mental health. I think it's important that we start looking at some of those underlying issues that, you know, um, people are using drugs on. You know, the low self-esteem, the um, feeling of not being good enough, just the loneliness and isolation. Yeah, but look at us. Look at us, right? The scriptures told us when we are feeling low, right, in a low esteem, right, low mood, right, we must take it cheerfully, right? When we come to a lowest estate, to a lowest state, I'm just paraphrasing, we must take it cheerfully. We mustn't go there taking drugs. So therefore we depend on, yeah, we're suffering too. We are suffering, but we just giving our praises to Yahweh about Sham Yao Shai. As well that some people can feel Young people still struggle. Staggeringly, Stonewall recently found that nearly half of young trans people have attempted suicide. Amy Challoner, a 19-year-old from Coventry, was bullied to the point where she considered taking her own life. It started off with low-level verbal comments, and then the physical bullying started to happen. I was being pushed around. I was having things thrown at me because of my gender identity. And things thrown at, things thrown at me, uh, books, pens, rulers. Because this behaviour and this bullying was affecting me and it wasn't being called down, wasn't being tackled by the teacher, it legitimised it. Both it, it gave them sort of power to do the actions, you know, oh, well, we're not going to get in trouble for it. And it legitimised it in my head, you know, if, if this is happening and it's not being called out, it's not being tackled, you know, maybe I am not worth as much maybe i am a lower person you are so i sort of thought that if if i could just end it that i wouldn't have to put up with the abuse anymore i wouldn't have to put up with the bullying anymore and it would just stop and because it's wrong if that was the it's only not thing natural that i could do to get it to stop it was the only thing left that i felt like i could control good evening everybody and welcome to change of scene um, talking is something we haven't done enough of a Change of Scene is a monthly discussion group for gay and bi men to share their life experiences, often for the first time. You need to be out, you need to be proud, you need to be happy, look how fabulous we are, we go out, we just have fun. Yeah, definitely, there's an image, kind of like general image within the gay, gay, gay community that we, we feel that we have to project. You may ridicule gay men, you know, uh, but you can't really kill my lifestyle. I feel that I need to show something that I'm okay to be me. But of course, for me to actually make so much effort to do that, deep, deep down, of course, it's an insecurity. I don't feel like we've moved beyond the position of defending our right to exist yet. My experience as a gay man is very much about proving my right to be who I am still before having the, the luxury to, to reflect on how I can kind of be a healthy, joyous version of that. This isn't just a gay issue. When society fails to support LGBT children, whole families can be devastated. It's time we all woke up to this mental health crisis. Listen, there's no thing about, there's no such thing as waking up, right? It's about waking up and serving Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Because he's on his way very, 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 very soon. He's at our doorsteps now. So according to the scriptures, being lesbian, gay, bisexual or transgender is wrong. According to the scriptures. It is not natural. Anything unnatural is a demonic spirit on you. Unnatural. All right, we're in the flesh, we suffer from depression times, we feel lowly, we feel whatever it is. But when you go to the extreme like that, the Most High is against that. So Shalom.